everyone welcome back to my channel so today it's time for a requested video which is going to be all about the Zara Improbable series of perfumes there are six in total if you're new here then welcome to my channel it's all about perfumes I have hundreds of different perfume review videos like this so do check them out and subscribe if you're not already so let's get into the fragrances so as you know Zara has quite a successful range of perfumes that they sell in their stores and online links will be down below by the way guys and the essentially a lot of them are kind of like dupes of um, famous perfumes and they're all really good priced and some of them are like really as good or almost as good as the ones they're kind of copying but the prices are amazing so all of these Zara Improbables um, come in small bottles but you can also then buy a refill bottle so there's kind of less packaging less waste so the the different colored little bottles are 30 mils but then you can buy I think it's 120 mil refill which is glass so originally they released four of these and it was supposed to be like four different types of women four different personalities but then a few months later they added two more to the line both of which are quite wintry and I wouldn't be surprised if they add two more this summer they are all numbered so let's start with number one which is the white bottle and it's called Somewhere Nowhere. I guess this is a kind of Dolce & Gabbana light blue um, type dupe. It's essentially a very citrusy lemony one with a little bit of white floral magnolia in and some musk as well but essentially this is very very light, very inoffensive, the kind of thing that you would spray if you just want something very clean and simple. I didn't find this lasted very well on me in fact I found it faded by like an hour I couldn't really smell it so this is probably not one of my favorites in this range for that reason but if you are looking for something very simple or perhaps something to wear and some people spray perfumes before they go to sleep will hopefully be asleep before the, like this is faded so it will matter and the zestiness quite nice or first thing in the morning or if, in a very hot country just to freshen up so if you're looking for something like fresh to throw in your handbag these little bottles are quite durable and I think they're all really good handbag perfume sizes. Um, so yeah, so this is like zesty and simple and fresh. The second one, a Sense of Glam, comes in a red bottle. Now this I do really like. This is sweet vanilla with lychee and rose. So this is similar to a lot of famous like mainstream perfumes at the moment. Vanilla and rose are used in so many famous perfumes, everything from Le Vie Belle, Armani C. So if you like those type of sort of famous perfumes, Coco Mademoiselle, Miss Dior, then this is probably one for you. I think this would work daytime and nighttime. It is sweet because of the vanilla, but the rose makes it quite um, florally as well. So I do like this one and this one did last a good while on me. Number three is Cotton Kiss and this comes in the baby blush pink, millennial pink bottle. This is definitely sweet, innocent um, and not too heavy perfume. It's pear, iris and musk mellow. Uh, to me, this was a bit like the first one. I was a little bit indifferent to it. I didn't think it was particularly strong. Again, if you're looking for something quite simple, you like pear and you like iris, then perhaps go for this one. Or if you're looking for something for someone quite young, you know like a, a teenager type um, simple cheap perfume than this one but overall as much as I love the pink branding I wasn't overly um, loving the bottle uh, loving the smell next we have number four me and my selfie now this is definitely a night out party fragrance I guess hence the name it is tonka bean and almond and these are both ingredients which are in so many of the sort of party type fragrances think Clarolina Herrera good girl um, think some of the Olympias you know almond is a very sweet um, smell very warm and tonka bean is very very warm this one I found the best for lasting out of all of them I was really impressed with this you could definitely be spraying this 
um, before going out and it would last and then you could fit it in your handbag do a top up in the toilets in the nightclub or whatever I think this might be a little bit too sweet and heavy for during the day for the office but each to their own um, but this definitely really good value for money and I think these are what like 6 99 or something for that little um, 30 mil like I don't think you really go wrong so number five and number six came out at Christmas time so number five is feels like winter this comes in a really cool like frozen style bottle and this is vanilla again with jasmine and violet so florally vanilla um the vanilla is kind of like a i guess winter vanilla candle type thing but i didn't find this to be particularly heavy or strong like the vanilla is in in sense of glam this is kind of powdery kind of florally a little bit sweet like it's kind of relatively middle of the road but in a nice way um it's i guess a bit generic so you could definitely sort of wear this to the office it's not very um inoffensive it's warm it's pretty it's nice I can imagine um, sort of wearing this on a very ice cold day and it would feel quite warm so I found this one to be okay I qu quite liked it and then finally number six glittery mood this comes in a very cool gold glittery bottle very very festive and I think this might be my favorite this is peony and black currant two fragrance notes that I love so peony is quite light and fresh but black currant of course is deep and syrupy sweet and I love it this would just be perfect for people that like those sweeter fragrances like Jimmy Choo like YSL Mon Paris like um Lancome Midnight Rose like one of my favorites so loving the black currant note in this and um, this would work for day or night again you know just keep topping it up why not it's so cheap and yeah I really liked this one really pretty so that's it so overall I am impressed with this range I think there's such good value and the bottles and the branding are really on trend and they come in these cool sort of um almost like a postage packaging thing um rather than a sort of normal bottle thing i'm not sure why but there you go so definitely try them um or definitely you know blind purchase these if you think they sound nice because they're so good value you can just have that top up so yeah really versatile and i guess if you get bored of one you could top it up with a different one without having to buy the little spray again so that's quite cool yeah, overall really impressed and yeah let me know what you think of these have you been trying them which is your favorite let me know in the comments down below but that's it guys so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again real soon bye